my studio. As you can see, I love dogs. I have real dog and I have sculpted dogs. Each one of those statues has a story to tell. It's not just about depicting a dog. It's a very specific animal with its character, its good and bad qualities, and everything that makes them so special. So welcome and take a look. Introducing Max the Pug. Take a look at his face. He actually looks a little bit like English Bulldog. Notice the underbite and serious expression on his face. Max was adopted at the age of nine. Actually, a pretty mature age for the dog to be adopted. So that particular pose reflects his noble personality. That his look. That's when his royal ancestry shines through. I just love Max. Don't you? This is Tigo, Portuguese water dog. He was a beloved family member, a very special companion. As you can see, he was a very handsome boy. But his best feature were his eyes. The owner commented that Tigo had almost human-like expression on his face. And this is his best feature, and this is what I wanted to depict and emphasize in Tigo's portrait. In ricordo del lampo, cane viaggiatore. In Italian it means in memory of lampo, a traveling dog. So this is a statue of lampo. It inspired by an actual event. Lampo lived about 50 years ago. He was a stray dog who knew how to hop the train and travel by himself from town to town. No one could explain why he traveled or how he always found the right train back to his home in Campiglia. As you can see, Lampo was not an ordinary dog. Lena Torich has a deep understanding and love of dogs, and it shows in every sweep of the tail and tilt of the head, accurate to the last detail. This classically trained master of fine art combines her intuitive insight with extensive knowledge of anatomy and expert sculpture skills to create a bronze statue that portrays an animal's character and personality. Now you can tell your dog how much you love them with a unique custom bronze statue of your one-of-a-kind best friend by Lena Torich. God may have created dogs, but Lena Torich has immortalized them in bronze. Dogs are amazing, aren't they? Love sculpting dogs. Every time I create a dog statue or a portrait, I think of it uh, as a tribute to this unique animal with its unique character, talents, and uh, special qualities. Sometimes people ask, which one of your dog statues you like best? And I say, the one I'm working on right now. Today, I would like to share with you a scale model for the future monument to a multi-purpose canine, or MPC. This is not ordinary military dog, it's Special Operation Forces. It will be Belgian Malinois wearing full tactical gear. And this is incredible. I love working on it. And you know what? They let me borrow. They actually provided real full deployment kit. So that's actual kit. The dog was wearing it at war. This is incredible. I'm just touching it, and it's, that's a real deal. Uh, I didn't realize it's so complex and so much equipment involved. I'm still studying it. And it's real honor to create this statue for our canine heroes. I'm very grateful. Thank you. To order your one-of-a-kind dog memorial or dog portrait statue, please contact Young Fine Art Studio. Info at custommemorialstatues.com. 801-359-2451. Apparently, I'm not the only one who loved that military vest. Our dog Rudy now is asking to join the army so he can wear something like that. Let's find out if it's true. Rudy? That's good. Is it true? Did you ask? Did you ask to join the army? <gasps> good job. Good boy. Good choice.